Let's talk about farmer's walk or farmer's carry. This fairly simple exercise, not very technically complex. It's a real powerful training tool though for building strength in a number of different ways. You almost call this a secret weapon of, of uh, strength development. It's a, not coincidentally a staple part of uh, strongman training. Again, folks that know how to get very, very strong will incorporate some heavy carries into their training. First thing that's going to be developed, obviously, is grip. You have to hang on to whatever it is you're going to carry. Uh, grip development feels like the big limiting factor in the beginning, um, but as you get stronger, you, grip becomes less of an issue. Uh, the next thing farmer's carry develops, uh, and I should clarify here, farmer's carry means heavy. Like the implication is that you're picking up something that feels heavy, a load that's uh, challenging for you to pick up with good technique. So uh, as you develop strength, your grip gets stronger, you're picking up heavier things, it starts to develop uh, shoulder, a particular trap. Uh, it's a nice shoulder strength developer uh, and, and contributes a lot to shoulder blade stability. Beyond that, as you get stronger, develop nice strong shoulders, now you're carrying really heavy stuff, then you start to challenge all of the support structure of your spine. So the muscles supporting your spine way deep down inside, muscles that we normally can never get to because, for instance, if you did enough deadlifts, they're deeply fatigued, your spine, your form would have failed a long time ago. But a heavy farmer's carry, you pick up something heavy and walk 100 yards or something with it, you're holding your weight for potentially minutes and it's just a long time under tension. So it's surprisingly effective for strengthening your spine. So farmer's carry, uh, there's many different kinds of things you could carry. Kettlebells are a convenient tool, we use these a lot. Pick up your load with a good deadlift technique, so don't be sloppy about standing it up. And again, the, the load should be heavy enough that it's a challenging deadlift to pick up in the first place. Squeeze your tummy a little bit as you walk, and if the load is heavy enough, you may find yourself staggering around a little. You have to shorten your steps and just in general be careful. Same thing as you're putting the weight down. Don't, don't relax yet. You have to put that stuff down safely and protect your feet from getting crushed. As I mentioned a moment ago, the object, uh, the object of, of farmer's carry training is to carry stuff that's heavy. So some people that are very serious about this have welded up special contraptions. You don't necessarily need to do that. You can be creative with what you have. Uh, one technique that I like a lot is to double up. And uh, let me show you how this works. I'm going to slide my wrist through one and just stack these up. Keep your thumb out of the way. No reason to smash your thumb. And again, good deadlift picking it up. Same thing putting it down. I'm going to keep a little bit of energy in the tank so that I can set that thing down without smashing my feet. So farmer's carry training uh, should not be limited by equipment. You don't need to have a, a complex set of kettlebells or special tools. Use what you have. Here I have a couple of six gallon camping water jugs, so that's going to translate to about 48 pounds. Same thing. This is practical if you're going to go on camping trips, but be creative and use what you have. 